In this Photoshop tutorial, let's look at how to add guides and specifically ruler guides. So you can add guides. The easiest way is to drag them out from your rulers. To show your rulers, press Command or Control R. That's going to pop open the rulers. You can change the units by right clicking on them, just like that. But also you can pull out guides just by clicking on the ruler and dragging out onto your document. So we can pull out a guide for the base of our text, just like this, and let go. And then we have a guide across our document. And that's a horizontal guide. We could pull out a vertical guide by doing the same on the vertical ruler here on the left. So now we've got a little cross section of guides. We can hover over these and still move them around if we would like and reposition them. But we can also lock them, hide them, and do some other things. So we go to the view drop down, and we can go down to rulers to hide or show rulers. And then underneath show, or actually no, I'm, I'm missing it right here, but there's guides right there. We have a lot of different options for our guides. So we can lock the guides, clear all of the guides, or just the selected guides. We can clear all of these different canvas guides, etc., to lock them into place. That means we won't be able to edit them anymore. So we can't even hover over them to, to edit them. Um, so let's go back to the view drop down, down to, sh not show, but down to guides, and we'll unlock the guide. Now another way you can show and hide guides really quickly is by pressing Command or Control semicolon. So that's just going to hide the guides, and then you can show them again by pressing the same shortcut key. Up in that view drop down, down to show, that's this guy right here. So that's check marking showing or hiding the guides, and that's the shortcut key out there. Now what else can you do? So we can pull guides out from our rulers, but if you noticed underneath guides here, we do have a few new guides options. I'll show you this one right here, just a new guide. When we click on that, we're able to add a horizontal or a vertical guide and define the exact position that we want that guide. That's very helpful if you want it like exactly 100 pixels in or maybe exactly 100.25 pixels in or something like that. Now we can also choose the color of that guide. So you can change the colors of different guides if you'd like and then press OK. So now we added a green guide, and we didn't put in any pixel amount, so just added it to the zero spot. But of course, we could move it around still. Now, if you want to lock your guide in to certain increments, let's zoom in here so we can see the increments a little bit better up here. I've got pixels selected. As I drag this guide around, you can see the pixel amount is very specific, like to where I place that guide. But if I hold shift, it's going to lock it into certain increments based on my zoom, I believe. So in this case, it's locking it into two pixel increments. And so that's a good way to like lock it into exactly where you want that guide. Uh, if I wanted it right on 600, it's not going to be 600.1 because of where I let go. Because I'm holding shift, it's going to lock it, like snap it to 600. Now the other thing that happens out here, especially if we have snap selected right here, you can see that we have a shortcut key for that, but as long as you have that check mark, if we drag this guide around, it'll actually snap to different things, whether that's elements or like the center of our document. So you can see right here, it snaps into place. It's actually 960 pixels because my document is 1920 wide, but it snaps right into the center. So that's really helpful, especially if you're just trying to center things or create guides that are in the center of your document. It'll snap right there to that. You can feel it snap on elements. So like right here, it snaps because that's the center of this text element. So that's how guides can snap. Anyway, pretty easy stuff. Just click and drag guides out or select new guide to place a guide exactly where you want it. And then hold shift to lock it into certain units. And then you can drag those guides around, lock them in, show and hide them. That's a shortcut key I recommend. Memorizing that command or control semicolon because it can clean up your document really quick for you. And that's how you can use guides here in Photoshop.